Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. This is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video, we're going to explore a Sonic 211 VRB, a very nice uh, travel trailer. It's about 25 feet long and easy to tow, at least in my estimation. It should be uh, readily towed by a mid-sized truck, a large SUV. Here's some of the specs. The unloaded vehicle weight of this unit is 4,330 pounds. Its cargo carrying capacity, 1,545 pounds. We're at United RV Center in Haltom City, Texas. Pretty much part of uh, Fort Worth, Texas. They've got quite a few RVs. Oh, they moved the Sonics over here. They confused me. And I did want to check out this one 211. I think it's called the 211. It's uh, about the perfect size for me. They have these smaller ones, uh, the lights with the only two wheels. I have quite a few of those. But I wanted to check out a 211. Let me double check. See what a 211 is here. That's a 241. <clears throat> I really like a 211 because I can tow it. It's a 190. I did that one previously. And this is a 211. VRB. Very nice. Let's uh, do a little quick tour of this one while I'm here. Again, United RV, according to uh, Mikey, uh, says that they offer uh, excellent, excellent uh, customer service, especially if you have a repair. They have one of the better repair departments. So they got a bunch of them just came in. So if you're in the market for a Sonic or a Wildcat or whatever, they got them. So, there it is right there. This is Sonic has the uh, front uh, cab. 220s, power tongue jack. It's huck bolted frame, very nice. Again, it has this uh, automotive style window. Fiberglass roof that goes all the way from the front all the way to the back, but it's not walkable. You can't walk on that roof. They do not have a ladder. They do not allow you to walk on the roof unless you want to crack it. So uh, there's the uh, pass-through storage. The scissor jacks at a certain angle. It has magnetic slam uh, latches. Let me open this up. Close that right there. And this is the pass-through storage. Nicely finished. Very nice. Here's some of the info, if you can see it on your TV. My, one thing good about my DJI Pocket 2, it actually focuses. A lot of action cameras are, have only one set focus and that's it. So this one was manufactured in March of 21, so it's fresh. It's uh, We're right now in April, second week of April, 2021. It might be the last part of April, I get confused. So there's the slide. So let's look at this one with the slide in. There's the old train. So these are Trailer King RST ST20575 R14D. Radial tubeless tires. Standard uh, suspension system. Nothing, nothing uh, to write home about. You can always replace the shackles and Get something more significant. Just replace it. So it's made by Qian. It's a Chinese company. A lot of people are surprised that a lot of these components are made in China, but they are. That's why the RV industry is having so many issues in regards to uh, getting supplies because a lot of them are made in China. I do like how they uh, suspend in their little uh, dumps, the gray and the black right here. It's a pretty good job. And again, the jacks. There's the exhaust for the uh, water heater and your 30 amp connection. You have satellite and cable connections, your outdoor shower, your tank flush, your city water connection, and a bare bones tire here. So this gives you a nice view of the tire, what kind of tire they have. 
And you got a stinky slinky holder, otherwise known as the bumper. Take a view on the side here. Got a good size awning. And a more ride step above so you can get inside and get out. No problem, very nice. It has that big, big, big step here so it fits my uh, foot here, no problem. Got your fresh tank fill here, your exhaust for your heater there, your outdoor TV connections for cable and your uh, alternating current, and then of course, that's where you can connect an external, an external uh, solar panel, a suitcase, solar suitcase, and there's the shutoff switch for the uh, DC. So you got the standard windows. You can see the speakers, the exhaust for the for the stove. Well, let's take a peek at this one and then move into the other one. Again, this is a. 211 VRB and it's by Venture. It has an area here where you can uh, leash your dog and also open a bottle. As you walk in you have the Furion refrigerator. It's a 12 volt built-in refrigerator it says here. Maximum capacity 8 to 10 cubic feet. Quiet operation, high efficiency high-efficiency DC compressor very nice let me close the door Ooh. up here you have an area where you can connect uh, to the alternating current this little storage area up here you can put something up here and again this is the refrigerator goes back quite a ways let me open this up very nice perfect for me. I just came from a four-day camping trip and I wish I had this rather than my uh, truck bed. Porcelain foot flush toilet. You have uh, a GFCI protected uh, outlet and your controls for your water pump, your water heater, and you can check your levels here. Stainless steel, not plastic, stainless steel uh, sink nice fixtures in an area where you can put some odds and ends and of course you have a little table there and this is good enough for most folks unless you're uh, a Hollywood celebrity you don't need that much stuff to get ready in the morning just your toothpaste your toothbrush a brush etc etc good clean storage under here some manufacturers have a jumbled mess and this goes back it goes back there way back there let me close that. Let me close that. So here we are in the shower. My main complaint about this unit all the time is these uh, is these little cheap uh, plastic. I like the little round knobs. They're a little more sturdy. So here we are. Let me get inside. Let me see if I can do this efficiently. Let me turn around the camera. There I am. Hideously ugly. I apologize. I apologize. So this is a little tight. I'm 5'10 with my tennis shoes on. I get about ooh, two inches right here and within this unit. So you can go 6'3, maybe 6'4 and call it good. What do you think? Very nice. Up here they have a little puny fan that you can always replace with a Max Air or a super nice fan. Uh, here's a shot of the uh, shower. It has this elastic to hold it in place to make sure things aren't good. They call these a neo-angle shower and right over here is your on off switch. Again this unit is uh, with the slides in. You still have access to the level mate. Of course you want your slides out when you use the level mate pro and your, here's your controls for your heater. They have a little bit of artwork which you can replace some receptacles and this is your Schwintech slide. So here is how it looks with the slide in. What do you think? And there's that pad that goes over this little table to make this into a bed and a good size bed at that. Over here 
we'll just do a quick walkthrough and then we'll go into another unit that has a slide open hopefully okay so obviously you can't maybe you can put down the bed I don't know let's try it let's see if we can put down the bed first of all let's try uh, this see if this actually works huh that works so you got a little bit of room here very tight space let's see if I can uh, get this bed down so far so good and of course this is three-parter yes you can sleep while this unit is uh, with a slide in okay you can't really walk around that side but you can always jump over there you're you're part of antelope aren't you so very nice so let's get out of this unit and try uh, one that's opened up and take a peek at it I think they might have one next door let's go give it a try Here's another 211 VRB. Let me go make sure the slide's up. This one has the wheel cover and the slide out. Very nice, very nice. Let's go inside this one. Again, this is a 211 VRB. Most dealerships are giving like about a 20% discount on these units. So again, there's a refrigerator. There's a bathroom we were in earlier. And this is with a slide out. Look at all that room. Very nice. You get a lot of room. And there's the artwork that you can replace. The little hokey little stuff there. You can always replace this. They want you to put a your picture there, but I would take this off. And it's all a matter how uh, hokey you like to go. Tire link remove before docking and some other stuff down there a question for your dealership and there's the uh dinette let's see what's going on down here how far it goes back let me get on my knees and we can take a peek. it goes all the way back it goes a long way last of eight four feet at least okay as long as this uh dinette let's check out the other one and make sure it's the same Never assume. Yes, it goes all the way back. I like these uh, cushions. They are cushy, like they're supposed to be. Again, solid wood. Very nice, very nice solid wood doors and nice metal handles. You saw me uh, take the bed up and from the down position up or reverse, something like that. <laughs> confused here's a shot of the valances and the window covers I like this pattern nice simple design you get some receptacles down there get some nice uh, closet space I like this I like this this is pretty shallow not very high maybe eight inches goes back about a foot and of course right about here it's about only six six inches okay only about six inches you got some covers for the front window. Got a nice simple mattress. A three-fold mattress. Let me back up. Is that mattress good enough for you? It's not very thick. It's only like about five inches thick. There's the window coverings again and the window. Let's look at, here's the TV from this side. You can see it from the bed for sure. There's some receptacles, HDMI connections, etc., etc. Here's a view from the behind and the different connections behind it. Okay, some receptacles, King Jack. And let's see if we can get it over here a little bit. Let's see if we can twist it. Not really, it's pretty difficult. It'll twist a little bit. And I'm sitting on the end of the uh, dinette uh, not the best position 
for the TV, to be honest with you. So there's your IRV Technologies uh, head unit, and here's your uh, storage area. Very nice storage unit. You've got a little closet area here. More storage down there. Storage down there. You've got one, two, three, four areas. And they have a little lip so things don't immediately fly out. And it goes back about a good two feet. It's about a foot wide. Very nice. Again, solid wood, solid wood door fronts. Nicely assembled. Nicely assembled. And of course, this isn't solid wood. This is plastic coated wood. Down there is your uh, fuse box, alternating current, your heater. That's it. No other connections. Just this blows the air out and that's that. Okay, you got your Furion oven, stove top. Let me move this back. This is uh, cast iron. Not cast iron. This is stamped steel that looks like cast iron. But it's still very nice. Three burner. And uh, what do you think of that? <laughs> Backsplash. <laughs> I laugh. So here's your little microwave, probably 0.9 cubic feet. And you get this nice, nice, very nice uh, storage up here. Plenty of room for your dishes and odds and ends. I would uh, add another. Add another level so you have two levels, so you don't waste a lot of space. But I do like those uh, fronts. I like the, how they did this. It's very nice. Here's a shot of the sink. Stainless steel sink. Nice uh, metal, uh, sort of oil or bronze look, metal faucet. So what do you think? And here you got the uh, drawers, solid wood door fronts, plywood box construction, all metal uh, glides. Very nice. I like that. Two of those. And then over here, you got some more storage. Down here, you can put your chemistry, and there's your easy access to your water pump. In case you leave it on all for a couple of days and it burns out. You can always replace it. There's your pipes. And uh, you can put some odds and ends here. I'll put my chemistry down here in some of my other items here. But where would I put a garbage can? Maybe put one right here. Create a little nook, a little something here, a little something here, put a little garbage can. That'd be pretty good with a little cover. So let me back up and give you another nice shot. Has a little skylight, an air conditioner, and apparently the air conditioner is only controlled by you moving your little digits here, okay? I'm 5'10 and I can touch the ceiling. If you're five foot four, five foot three, you might need some help. Maybe we'll get a little, <clears throat> a little stool to help you out. <sighs> so that's my quick tour of this uh, 211. I really like it. In fact, I told uh, Mikey here, if he can give me a deal, maybe I might buy it for him. I do like it. It fits my uh, lifestyle. It's not too big. It's not too heavy. And it's not too ostentatious. I think, it should, you know, if he gives me a decent deal, I'll buy it. But maybe not. If he doesn't give me a deal, you know. You know, there's a sort of lack of inventory. That they're still saying that, you know, there's uh, inventory issues and prices are still, you know, high. Typically, at most dealerships across the nation, they're giving you a 20% discount on certain products, 15% like on lances and stuff like that. So, if I can get a better deal, maybe I'll buy it. So, I came back and gave the uh, mattress a test fitting. This is a Camper Queen, only 75 inches. I must admit, I did not like it. I felt the seams. There were 
two distinct seams. It was a bit lumpy for me. I talked to Mikey, he said, just put a, you know, a mattress cover over it, a three inch, uh, you know, memory foam cover. Nah, that's uh, too much of a hassle for me. So I prefer, in retrospect, uh, you know, an actual residential queen bed. Again, I'm very spoiled. I have a Tempur-Pedic mattress at home. But what do you think? This might be a deal breaker. And I definitely gave the mattress a thumbs down. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you have the time, please leave your kind and super friendly comments uh, below the description. I'd appreciate it. And check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash jmmgarza. Thank you very much. I'm at United RV where they have a decent amount of inventory, but according to uh, Mikey, they're going to get less stuff now. Apparently there's a slowdown. And uh, we're... Uh, we're in the single digits of uh, April 2021. I don't know what's going on. Do you know what's going on? I don't know what's going on. So, hope you're doing well wherever you're at. Thanks for checking out my video from uh, Haltom City in Texas. Uh, it's part of uh, Fort Worth, pretty much. It's surrounded by Fort Worth. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.